Hello buddy, Andy here again, down on the beach once again. And uh, I think it was Ken pointed out to me on my last video that this video will be my 666th YouTube video. It's the video of the beast. And Ken suggested that I um, talk about, you know, do a sort of a Halloween type themes uh, video or something along those lines that goes with the particular number, you know, the 666 number. But oh, I'm not really a great one there, yeah, a bit of bar humbug, I suppose. I'm not a great one for sort of Halloween and all that that, uh, that entails. I've probably spoken about that before. But what I thought I would talk about, just thinking about it walking along here, was um, about holidays and relationships and all those sort of things. Not holiday relationships. <laughs> I could talk about those, but maybe that's another video. Um, but at the moment, my wife is away in Rome with some work colleagues of hers, people that she knows. There's four of them, four of them, the girls that have gone away. And I was very encouraging of her to do that. I said, you know, when it, the first I, the idea was sort of thought about some time ago, I said, you really ought to do that because it's something that you'll never forget for lots of different reasons. Obviously, you're going to a great city um, and you'll experience that but because you're going away with, with friends and that as well. It's a slightly different holiday to what it would be if you were going away with your family. And especially when you've had a family for sort of 20 years and you've watched the kids growing up, it'll be the first time that she's really been away from that type of thing on her own. And I know what a bit of what that's like, having been away myself a couple of times recently, I've been lucky enough to have been allowed to go away, because that's another point, isn't it? Is that the other partner allows you go, to go away gallivanting off to America, as I have done twice in the past couple of years. But those holidays that I've had over there, especially the one to California, the road trip, which is obviously it's a great holiday in itself. As much as I enjoyed the trip to Chicago and Nashville, and had a great, great time with Gary and Mike and all the people that I met there, that trip this year, the combination of uh, the LA uh, weekend and meeting up with people like Kurt and Rich and Michael and Elena and all those sort of people. And then the road trip itself up the, you know, the uh, Pacific Coast Highway and then the weekend in San Francisco and all that we saw there. It was a really good holiday, but it was made even better by the people that I was with. Okay, and people that I met through this site. I'm going to go over that, but it just shows you those sort of friends that you can make. And that, the more I look back on that, that particular 10 days or whatever it was that I spent over there, the more I look back with it with a great deal of fondness and realise it was one of the best things that I've ever done in my life. And I probably, I probably guarantee that most of the other guys, would, if not all of the other guys, would say exactly the same thing. When Steve, 21st Century Cat, posts a new video, which he does every so often, and he probably will continue to do so for the next couple of years, and I haven't posted all mine actually, as it comes to, to think about it. Um, it, it sort of takes you back and it starts me thinking and watching other videos in the series that obviously crop up, you know, in the suggested a box or whatever so I start watching them and I'm looking back and thinking wow you know it reminds you of all those little things that you maybe have forgotten about like Steve's last video when I swallowed a fly and all you know these silly little things but all those sort of memories that you have and I said to my wife that's what you'll come back with when you go to Rome because you'll be away with friends and as we, we were talking the other day about this is that as she said she won't it'll be the first time she's been away she won't have to think about having to look after the family not okay you know I, I can look after myself so can my kids but there's always that element that you feel that you need to be doing something i get that if i go away with the family if we go to spain or something like that because you're supposedly the head of the family i'm the one who puts it i'm the one who sorts it all out and i'm the one who does it when we're out there i'm the one who orders most of the stuff that we do you pay for it you decide you know where we're going to go what we're going to do it, it's not a problem but when you are away uh, with friends, you, there is more freedom to that. And I say that's nothing to the detriment of the relationship or anything that you have with your family. In fact, I think that it shows if you if you enable or you allow your partner to go away, as my wife has done with me, it, it proves how good that relationship is because there's some, it proves that there's trust there. It's that they're happy to let you go, and partly I think because they know what it means. I, and that's, I think my wife realised what those sort of holidays that I've had in, in America in the last couple of years have meant to me and what I've brought back from them um, because of the way that I've spoken about them and the memories that I've got, and you can relate things to them. And I say that's why I was so encouraging of her and explaining that that's what she was going to come back with that type of thing as well. She's going to come up with a completely unique quality and it's something that you've got. It's not, yes, all those great 
shared experiences that you have throughout your married life, through the relationship you had before you were married with the kids and everything, that that's absolutely wonderful. No one will ever want to take that. But it is sometimes nice to have things of your own. It sounds a bit selfish, but we do need to be a bit selfish sometimes because you have a relationship so you're wrapped up with that person for 25 years, however many years. You do need that little bit of personal space, I think, sometimes. And, if, and, and that's what those holidays do. And that's, uh, you know, without going into detail, how we sort of our relationship is in a way is that you know we allow ourselves we have our own interests and we allow those to, to go and do their you know do your own thing to an, ex to an extent <laughs> i think you know where i'm coming from um at, but we're still with all that sort of trust and that in there as well so that's that's the 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 art of a good relationship in my respect in my, my point of view anyway and i like to think that uh, hopefully you have that sort of relationship as well but it doesn't take away from the fact that when that person is away that you missed them, as I said. Um, we, uh, sort of the relationship that mine and my wife have, and we, I was talking about this with, with, uh, with my, my mother, actually, and, and my father when he died uh, in the past year. And yes, they've been together for 50 odd years, and they didn't speak as much as they did. You know, they, my wife, uh, sorry, my mother would be there watching the telly, my father would be there listening to his music on his headphones. Similar sort of thing to what we do in our house when we have everybody. Uh, in different rooms usually in the evening doing their own different things all quite happy with their company all quite happy with the way things are going aeroplane and, and um, but when that person isn't there it's different There's, the house feels different so I realise now probably what my wife has felt when I've not been there apart from a, at first she said oh this is great I can do what I want I can go down the pub or I can lounge around on the sofa or something like that it's uh, it is good. then that sort of novelty wears off and you think actually I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm missing the fact that that person isn't there and um, so it, it improves the relationship if it needed it in that way as well so there you go that's a, a thought I think that's an appropriate subject for a 666 video <laughs> nothing evil in this one only good things and maybe that's what we should be celebrating in all the time anyways the good things in life sharing because uh, you're sharing you know your relationship or whatever however you want to put that you know you're allowing your your partners, your, your wives, girlfriends, boyfriends, or whatever it might be, husbands, etc. You're allowing them to live a little bit of their own life as well, because ultimately, that's what it's about. You, yes, you, you are a couple, uh, you are a family, but we are individuals as well. And as long as you respect that and you understand that, that only makes for a better life in the world. Anyway, we'll leave it there, and I'll see you at 667. Goodbye.